Now, I caught up this week with the incredible Katie Tunstall. Have a listen to this. Hello, how are you? Hey, Katie. Good, thanks. Well, good morning in Los Angeles. It is. It is the morning time. I've got my coffee. And thanks for waking up for of us. Of course. No, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I would be a little bit embarrassing if I wasn't up by now. Yeah, but we'd let you off. You've been so busy. You've been, I've seen you on Instagram singing with Gary Barlow and doing your Instagram lives and Instagram raves. Now, I've been asking the same question to every single guest. And that question is, what's your new skill that you've learned in isolation? For some reason, everybody here in the UK seems to be making banana bread. Yeah, it's basically because all your bananas just go off and everyone's like, what do we do with them? Put them in the freezer. I chop them up and put them in the freezer so I can put them in my smoothies. Yeah, well, that's because you're so LA. <laughs> so LA, darling. Um, my new skill would be looking after a dog. You've got a dog. So I've always wanted a dog, but I've never really had time to kind of bond with a dog and be at home just traveling constantly. And um, so I managed to rescue a little doggy and it's a little she's a little miniature pincher so she fits in my handbag uh, she'll definitely be coming on tour I bought her a little travel bag which was potentially wishful thinking at this point but she was straight in I was like good girl <laughs> you know it's funny because I sometimes see mothers discussing having children online and they're like I don't know what I'm doing wrong and I feel like I'm a terrible mother and I'm like oh my god I'm having that because she's you know, she'll be t so scared of people or other dogs. And I'm like, what can I do? Well, there must be something like mum's net for dog, like dog's yes, net. Yes, exactly. Dog mum net. I'd love a dog. I just can't at the moment. And especially not in LA with that heat. Not with this hair and this skin. Not a chance. <laughs> I have Irish skin. And yes, I'm in the same boat. I'm trying, <laughs> sort of still getting used to having to wear sun cream every day. But the upside is, of course, that you your life feels like you're on holiday all the time. Someone asked me, what what weird what are the weirdest three things that you've bought while in in lockdown so you can answer that first the weirdest thing i've bought yeah um the three weirdest things you've ordered online well this for a start this is uh look at this <laughs> oh, he lights up there we go look yes a, a light bulb duck i've bought a disco light a step ladder and a taser hiking stick. I had to give my driving license number in, but I was really quite surprised how easy it was to buy, essentially, a very large taser. <laughs> Actually, I've just thought, there's, there's one thing. Now, I promise you, I didn't buy this. You're, not, you're never going to believe me. But I didn't buy this. Really? Somebody sent this to me as a gift. Now, let, hang on, wait there. Let me, let me get this. Let me show you. Do we believe that? Now, look at this. <laughs> Amazing. An actual bobblehead. How cool is this? Actually, my fans once bought me a bobblehead of me for one of my birthdays. It was one of my favourite presents ever. How would love a Katie Tunstall bobblehead. Right, we're going to move on to some questions. I don't want you to think. No thinking. I'm really good at not thinking. I'm really good at talking and not thinking. What colour is your toothbrush? Black. Mexican food or Indian food? Oh, that's really hard. Mexican. You've been in LA for six years now. And what's the most LA thing that you find yourself doing? Oh, when I get a takeaway coffee, I have to say, can I get an unsweetened almond milk to get a latte to go for Katie? Because they don't understand Katie. So I have to say Katie. <laughs> well, it could be worse. It could be a, a kale smoothie for Katie. <laughs> now, book or film? I'm going to have to say film, because it's one of my favourite things in the world, is watching movies. And what's your karaoke song? Faith by George Michael. No hesitation. None. Final question. I saw you do an online duet with Gary Barlow, and I've just been singing with Matt Lucas about a baked potato, of all things. Now, Katie, I'm a huge fan. I love your work. I would love the chance to sing with you. Any chance we could do a song together? We need to do it. We definitely need to do it. I've been liking the whole environment of lockdown where people have started to play games again, do puzzles, hang out with their kids and actually just do what their kids are doing. So I, there was a song I used to love playing when I was busking. Tom Waits was one of my first real uh, kind of fan moments of buying something. I bought Bone Machine. It was a really 
uh, old album that I bought, one of the first albums I bought for myself. And there's a song called I Don't Want to Grow Up. And it's a great kind of tune borrowed from blues. And I think we should do a duet. Tom Waits, that's a great shout. Now, I'm going to go and learn that song right now and we'll get this sorted. It's so great to see you. Thanks so much, Katie. See you soon. Thank you, Tom. Thanks. Bye. I'm going to be honest, I'd never even heard of that Tom Waits tune that Katie just suggested, but I tried to style it out, play it cool, make her think that I was cool, and go, yeah, I know the tune, no worries. So now my job is to go and learn that tune, so tune in next week, same time, same place, 6 o'clock, right here, and you can see the duet with me and the boys and the incredible Katie Tunstall.